Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on all of my liquid and cream blushes in my collection. So I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to be showing you guys some side by side, some demos, some swatches. I'm just going to get into it. But if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the video. I felt like this would be a good chance to get into the spirit of spring. Spring has sprung, as everyone says, spring has sprung. So I'm going to show you some blushes. First off, I'm going to start with two oldies, two golden oldies. One I don't really use very much, but a lot of you have it as well. And one I don't really use it very much, but a lot of you have it as well. This is the Cloud Paint from Glossier and the Lisa Eldred Seamless Skin. I have this Lisa Eldred one in Venetian Red. I really wish I had the Island Girl one, which was a nice orangey coral, but it sold out very, very quickly. So I got this one. This one's a bit stiff in the tube, but we will try and get some out. I'm gonna try the Venetian Red on this side, and I'm gonna try the Glossier on this side. Both of these are slightly firmer formulas. They're both creamy blushes, but they are a bit more firm than other blushes and liquid blushes I have, so I thought I would put them together. This is the shade Spark, which is a red. And this is Elisa Eldridge. So that's Venetian Red from Lisa Aldred. It's actually a lot nicer than I remember it being. I think I might be a bit too hard on it. So on this side, I'm gonna use the Glossier, it's getting messy already, the Glossier Cloud Paint in Spark. This is a very true red. It doesn't have much depth of color or dimension, but it is just a nice bright poppy red if that's something you're after. That is the Lisa Eldridge on. It's just split at the other end, so I think this might be on its last legs now, which is a shame. Uh, this is the Lisa Eldridge Venetian Red. It actually looks really nice on. Don't think I'll ever be able to use it again, but it does look really nice on. It's not too glowy, it's not too dewy. It just kind of has a really nice translucence to it, but still has like a really nice pigment and staying power, which is nice. This is the Cloud Paint side. This is Cloud Paint and Spark. I do really like this colour as well. I think it looks really pretty. It's a bit more vibrant than the Lisa. But they do have a very similar kind of formulation, even though they're slightly different, one slightly wetter and looser. They do still have the same kind of feel on the skin. So if you're looking for dupes of either of the other, either of them, then they're quite dupes, good dupes for each other. Next up are two orangey blushes. This is the, the Ilia Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. I think you've seen me use it a few times. And the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dawn. I think quite a few of you guys have this one. So yeah, I'm gonna show you them both side by side. Both similar-ish formulas. I feel like the Ilia, the Ilia one is a little bit more powdery um, than the Glossier. The Glossier is a bit more liquid. Uh, but the Ilia one does have a random cool a cooling metal tip, which I do like using as a full look. I like to use it on my lips and cheeks, but I won't do that today because I'm gonna take it off in a minute. But this is the Ilia. And on this side, I'll put on the Glossier.
actually looks very flattering on the skin. It's very warming. This actually looks really nice and natural in the mirror. I quite like this. It looks like just my skin tone. It doesn't look like I'm wearing anything, which is quite nice and subtle. So I've got two more red blushes for you. One is new and one I haven't tried before. This is from Typology. This is their blusher or tinted balm in the shade Ruby Red. It's quite liquidy, it's quite loose. Uh, and I, I really like swatching it, so I'm gonna be trying that today. And also one I never show you guys, but one I did buy when I was going to do a Korean haul video, a Korean makeup haul video, and I never did it. But this is from 3CE. It's the Style Nanda Blush Cushion in the shade Girlish Red. It's got a nice sheerness to it, which is why I really like it, and I like this using the cushion. And this is a Typology blush in the shade Ruby Red. On this side, I'm going to try the 3CE blush, which I really like actually. And it's nice and sheer, even though it's quite red. Um, I tend to just do it like this. And on this side, I'm going to use the typology. One, this is one I definitely would want to put on my lips as well. It just looks like it will be really nice all over. This is really pretty. Even though it is quite sticky, tacky, it looks quite nice on the skin. It gives it that like liquidy, juicy glow. I actually really love this 3CE one. It's just really nice and fun to use. This one literally feels like nothing's on my face. This one I can feel like a little bit of tackiness or a bit of product, but both very cute. I'm gonna try on a palette now. I'm gonna try next the Patrick Tar. This is one of the smartest blush palettes because you have three creams and three powders in corresponding colors. I think it's just so clever. One of my favorite palettes just for the innovation alone, but the colors are also really nice. These two are pretty much my best shades, but this one's not bad either so I'm going to show you them both them all on so on this side I'm going to show you the bright pink first Now this is a very silky cream, it's a very lightweight cream. And this one is called She's a Doll. Cute. I'm gonna shade the middle cream, which is She's Vibrant. Ooh, she is vibrant. I really haven't used this since I bought it. I really liked it. I just don't reach for it because I can never remember what the shades look like. Um, and I just like liquids, they're just so easy and cute. But this is really nice. 
see, even though she's a doll, it's super light. It does still flatter my skin tone. I think it's a really good palette for all skin tones because it truly does flatter all skin tones, whether you've got very fair skin or very rich, deep skin. It, it looks good on everyone and it's quite hard to do that. So I think he's done a really good job with this palette. I'm going to quickly show you she's baked on the side. So next up are two of my favourite blushes and I can't believe I almost forgot about them. Who am I? So one of my favourites is the Surratt's Classic Artistique Liquid Blush and my other favourite, as you guys have probably seen, I've been using it pretty much since I started this channel, is the Sunset Sky from M Cosmetics. This is their colour drop serum or colour serum drops, I never get it right, but two fantastic blushes and two really nice formulas. This one is super lightweight, super liquidy. This one is cute because it has a little sponge applicator and just makes my life easy. So I'm going to show you them both on. This is the Surratt. When you wind it up sometimes you do get quite a lot out and this is the color drop serum from emma cosmetics so cute i love the little pipette they both have very unique um dispensers which are quite nice and it seems like with liquid blushes and cream blushes people seem to get a bit more creative you've got the patrick tar you've got the palette you've got these two you've got a pipette a sponge uh, a cushion uh, a weird paint pot thing uh, <clears throat> sorry I'm getting a bit croaky just a, a really nice variation of colours and textures and things like that so I do really like cream blushes they're fun and they look really natural on so first up I'm going to try the M Cosmetics liquid blush Sunset Sky what a classic The thing I love about this is it has like a ceramic texture, it's really lightweight um, and it's very buildable. It's really nice in summer when you're a bit more tan and your skin's like, my skin's like a bit richer. That's the serum blush, it's very light but it does give my skin a really nice glow. I think if, you've, if you're a bit dry or you like a bit more of a dewy finish, this is such a nice blusher. On this side we're going to use the Surratt Classique. Such a great name, Classique. And I just do a little dab. This is really one of my favorite blushes. I used it pretty much all summer. As soon as I bought it, it was the only thing I was using. So it's just so cute, I love it. So last up are my last two. I don't know which side to put them on. Two of my favourites and two really nice kind of mauvey, berry-esque berry shades, which is why I've got this berry eye on and did have a berry lip. I might have to use a bit more. I'm using the Tom Ford lip blush at the moment. Uh, I've just, it's having a revival. I'm just enjoying it. So, um, so this is the Mod Con blush from KVD Beauty in the shade Glow Lita. And this isn't a blush, but I use it as a blush. This is the Pat McGrath 
Liquid Lust Legendary Wear Matte Lipstick in the shade Divine Rose. ModCon comes with a little nozzle. And this is a very like, it's liquidy, but it's very gel-like. The non-blush blush is the Pat McGrath. This, as it is a lip product, comes with a day for applicator. It comes with her like tilted, her tilted applicator, which is really good. So on this side, I'm gonna show you the ModCon liquid blush, which is this one here. This one gives it a really nice glow but it's got a really decent amount of pigment to it. It's sheer, but it's got a re really decent amount of pigment to it. So nice. And on this side, I'm going to show you the Divine Rose from Pat McGrath. Love this blusher is so nice very underrated blusher from kvd and then this is the pat which isn't a blusher but sometimes it's really good as a blusher i'm not sure if i've done a good job today but <laughs> it does normally look good as a blusher I totally forgot about my rose ink blushes two of my favorite blushes ever and they're both cream so I felt like I definitely had to include them I have them in two shades I have Dahlia which is the richer deeper one also have azalea which is like the pinkier one as well so i'm going to quickly show you them on i'm going to put azalea on this side and dahlia on this side so it has quite a uh, a very creamy formula but it's much more of a firm cream and it comes with a mirror as well i'm just going to show you it so this is azalea And on this side, I'm going to show you Dahlia, which was the original one I bought. I, think I might go in with a bit of Azalea on my lips. And maybe a bit of Dahlia. And I really like this as a lip product and as a cheek product and that's the reason I love cream and liquid blushes especially cream blushes because you can use them in such a multi-purpose way and they look really nice on the lips and the cheek so those are the rose ink blushes two of my favorite blushes I just wanted to include them even though they are a bit late to the party So guys that is it that is my finished look those are all of the liquid and cream blushes i own hopefully you found that helpful hopefully you found it interesting seeing them all on let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys which ones were your favorites i think oh i don't know the patrick tar has definitely reminded me it's very good the the serrat so good the glowlita modcon so good and also oh i think i really liked the orange ones as well they were really nice and warming on my face and really nice on the skin so lots to love i love them all very much there are no duds in there the only sad thing is that the lisa aldridge did just break but apart from that it was a good 
Uh, I'm really happy with all of the liquid blushes I have. Let me know which ones are your favourite, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Will you be buying anything? Will you be trying anything? What do you have already? And have I introduced you to any new blushes that you are intrigued by? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it was useful. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.